Hey there, beautiful people of the world. I am here sitting in my living room amongst all of my favorite things. As you can see, I got flowers, I got beautiful plants and candles, and of course, my kitty cat who's just sleeping right over there. Hopefully she'll come over and say hi. And you know, your girl gotta have a cup of coffee in her favorite mug, of course. So anyways, this video is about a radioactive injection. This happens normally the day before you would get your breast cancer surgery. So sounds crazy, right? A radioactive injection, like, is that how Spider-Man got his powers? Like, what the hell? <laughs> so I, I scanned the internet and asked thousands of people in my support groups about this and everyone seemed to have a different story. So your story may be different than mine, um, but I thought it was really important to dedicate a video just on this alone. So I am going to walk you through the whole process and we're going to start off with a clip of me sitting in the car getting ready to suit up so that I don't get COVID-19 and go into nuclear medicine for my appointment. So this is COVID-19 going on right now. It is March the 30th and I am going in for my injection which is done prior to surgery so it's a radioactive injection and to be quite honest i don't know too much else about it um but i'm gonna take you with me so that you get to learn and understand what to expect a little bit i'm gonna suit up here this is pretty crazy times I'm hoping I can bring my mom and my boyfriend with me, but I might have to be a lone wolf on this one. But the best thing is I've never seen the hospital parking lot so empty. So getting parking was really, really easy. Okay, so wish me luck. So I made it in okay. Um, it was quite strange though with the whole COVID-19 pandemic going on. I was asked a few screening questions by a person who was sitting behind Pexiglass and then I proceeded along my way to nuclear medicine. And it was a huge place and filled with empty seats. It was so strange, but everything went according to schedule and I'm just extremely grateful that nothing got canceled. So the next part of this, um, you're gonna see the actual procedure being done and I'm gonna talk you through what's actually going on. Okay. So this clip is in super high speed mode. Um, just wanted to include it so that you can see what the initial setup is like. It's basically me in a gown laying down on a platform waiting for my doctor to arrive but as you can see by my tapping feet i'm quite nervous so now the doctor arrives he is lovely actually and he's just explaining to me the whole process so basically i'm going to receive a needle in my left breast next to my tumor and it's a very very small needle he says that the pain could be comparable to that of a bee sting, but there is pain anesthetic within the injection itself, so you only feel that type of pain for about four or five seconds. So here in this clip, I'm receiving the actual injection. And as you can see, if you look at my hand, as soon as I feel it, I squeeze my hand. There we go. <laughs> And one, two, three, done. And then I'm just slid down towards the cameras that will actually be taking the images. And all I have to do is lay there. It takes about 20 minutes or so. And that's basically it. So after they took some images, the doctor came back and looked at the image that showed where my lymph node was. I was able to see it. It was like a, looking at a black sky with a thousand of far away stars. And right in the center was this bright sun. That was actually where I received the radioactive injection. 
but pretty close by was a star that was brighter and bigger than all the rest. That was my lymph node. So this is done to help the surgeon locate your lymph node during surgery. Now, my surgeons still use the blue dye, which is a way of discovering your lymph nodes during surgery as well. So now just a little knowledge on why we would want a lymph node biopsy. So a lymph node biopsy is the removal of the first lymph gland or glands that are responsible for draining the particular area of the breast involved with a tumor. So afterwards, pathologists can determine whether or not tumor cells are present in the lymph node, um, and the presence of tumor cells may suggest that the breast cancer could metastasize to other parts of your body. So I actually had a double mastectomy five days ago. So my injection was six days ago. Um, but my next video will be all about my double mastectomy and what to expect in the first couple of days. So I hope to see you soon. Bye. Also, uh, if you like my videos, if you like my channel and information, don't forget to hit subscribe just down below. And uh, if you hit your bell button in the right hand corner, you'll be notified um, whenever I put up new content. So thanks again for watching and I hope you subscribe. Bye. This is Muzzy.